Today we are going to study some basics of probability and uh, probability is basically where it's a branch of uh, statistics and it started where, uh, with the uh, with the inferential statistics. So uh, in inferential strategy, we want to generalize uh, the sample data to the entire population. Uh, so for, but for uh, uh, generalizing data to the entire population, there are some rules which we have to learn. So prob probability is the base of uh, which makes uh, uh, of uh, those rules. So basically, the classical definition of probability is that it is a branch of statistics which measures uh, the uncertainty, or we can say the measurement chances is called the probability. So we can uh, ask, how do we usually measure chances in real life? like chances of having rain tomorrow or chances of te temperature falling down uh, in winter less than minus three degrees centigrade so the chances are made when we have the large sample size and we have observed the the things multiple times repeatedly for example i want to observe the chances of de uh, death among children in developing areas and we know, for example, we have the data, like one of the scenario we can discuss here, that in Pakistan, 483,000 children die every year before reaching their fifth birthday. Uh, and it is estimated that, that it is about 86 deaths uh, per thousand life worth. So how would have uh, they calculated the, this uh, rate? So we they must have observed all the children and among them they have observed the 423,000. so we know that in 2000 this is the data of the 2012 so in 2012 uh, children population under the age of five years were approximately uh, 462070 this is the total population and the deaths among those children deaths were observed uh, uh, among 423,000. So if we divide the uh, characteristics, which is 43,000, that that's divide uh, with the total number of population. So it is around 87, 8.7, which makes 87 deaths per thousand. So now we can see that in Pakistan, the chances of any child to be, uh, to be uh, uh, die um, uh, uh, under fifth year, of, uh, fifth year of his age, so it is 8.7%. Another question may arise that uh, if uh, it is the same thing like proportion uh, that what we did, uh, we took the uh, characteristics divided by the total number of the uh, po population size or sample size, and then we multiply it by 100. So what is the difference between the probability and the proportion and if any uh, figure, any related uh, uh, statistics, statistics uh, uh, in the in the status in, in the in the statistics. So uh, the next slide will tell you that basically uh, the proportion of probability uh, in real life some people interchange the concept, but basically proportion is basically a relative size of the portion of the population with the certain characteristics. While, I mean, we have calculated the proportion, that's enough. There is full stop after that. Okay, the proportion is that one. But probability is basically, it is measurement of chances. And chances is measured for future. So there is one conceptual difference. Although the calculation is almost same, but the, there is a, a difference of the concept that proportion is the about, you may say it's about the present. And probability is about the future, that we are talking about the future. Chances are talking are, are being talked about the future. Proportion is statistics. For example, if someone is saying that the chances of deaths due to corona is, uh, say, 87% uh, among uh, adults with complication. So, uh, here we go. We can say, okay, 87%, that's its full stop. Okay, fine. Uh, the probability, it uh, it actually uh, 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 tells about that, okay, 87% means 
that the next person who is going to who is going to be any patient for example adult or child what is the chances i mean 8.7% 87% is the chances for him to be die from the corona so proportion is the descriptive measure we just calculated and then full stop probability is an inferential method it is talking about the estimation what's going to be in the future in our next population for example prevalence of a disease is the proportion while the chances of patient having specific disease is the probability for example a data of 1000 patient for example found 900 of them had corona so proportion in the proportion we ask what is the proportion of a patient uh, has corona so it will be simple 900 by 1000 it is 90 percent but in probability our question change what is the probability that the next patient will have corona you can see the difference and the answer is 0 0.90 one thing the proportion is in percentages and the probability will lies between zero and one which we are going to actually uh, study later so you can see that proportion is about the present and it is about the simple calculation and we just pull the stop when we measure it probability when we measure it we talked about the uh, future i mean what will happen to the next uh, person uh, which has the same characteristics so the statistical definition of probability is that that if an experiment is, is repeated in time this experiment can anything okay for example observing the patient having corona or observing the uh, death uh, among the five-year-old children experiment this is the, uh, this is the experiment and that experiment is running under n times i mean the large number of time under essentially identical condition this is the one of the requirement for probability that it should be conducted under identical condition like if we are actually making the chances for something then obviously the previous experiment should have the same scenario uh, to uh, same scenario so that we can ask about the chances and the M in E, for example, having Corona, being there, being die. So over M time, then as N uh, gets larger, as the sample size of population size gets larger, that M or N, the ratio of the M in divided by the total sample size approaches the probability of E. So the P of probability of E has a formula uh, is number of outcomes have characteristics E divided by total number of outcomes. For example, a drug, uh, there is an example, a drug is being diagnosed to be affected to a hypertensive patient. A clinical trial has been done on 700 patients. Among them, 616 patients respond positively. So what is the probability the drug will affect positive to the hypertensive patient? Now we have to actually find the M and N in this, in this scenario. The M is the number of outcome here characteristic A. We are being asked to find out that the drug will be affected to hypertensive patient. So this is a statement, the 616 patient respond positively, the positivity to the, hyper, uh, to the drug which was given to them. This is our M. And N is the total number of outcome, total number of sample which we have collected. To, so to find out the probability that uh, uh, the drug will be effective, we have to divide this integer, the M, which is the number of patients who were involved in the clinical trial. Sorry, and E is the M in the drug. M in the drug. So here we go. It is P is equal to, uh, P, uh, probability is 616 over 700 is equal to 0 0.88. 0 0.88 is the probability that the drug is effective to hypertensive patient. Uh, they, I mean, the drug effect positive to hypertensive patient. Now our our uh, our conclusion can be that the certain drug will be affected to the next patient. The chances is that 0.88, or we can say 88% chances that a drug will be affected to the all hypertensive patients. There are some other concept in the learning probability is that since we are talking about the chances and since we are talking about the probability, any possibility. So if anything is uh, surely possible, the surely possible can be uh, can be uh, measure when we have observed in past that something happens 
um, whenever we whenever we observe anything, and and happens all the time. For example, the rising of sun from the e from the east, it happens all the time, and so it the is chances is uh, always hundred percent. Its probability is hundred percent. And something impossible is just like the tomorrow. The chances of uh, uh, rising the sun from the east uh, from the west is a zero percent so it is again it is uh, it is again like uh the something that can never happen so uh the probability of sure thing okay uh, is n over n is equal to one and that is 100 percent if you're talking about the chances and something which is not possible is again the zero percent or we say it can never happen whenever we observe so the limits of probability live uh, from zero to one so we have uh, one more example of the same that the sample of 502 patients showed the distribution of four major cardiovascular disease in King Pratt Hospital. So the diseases are like in the hospital among 502 patients, 226 uh, were diagnosed with, let's suppose, ischemic heart disease, 206 uh, diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease, and uh, 20, uh, 50, uh, 50 patients um, observed from hypertensive heart disease and 20 observed from the cerebrovascular disease. So if a patient is picked up randomly, what is the probability that he or she will have the ischemic heart disease? So again, it will be the same, same thing. Uh, that is N will be the 226 and the N will be 502. So the probability of uh, ischemic heart disease will be 226 divided by 502, which is, which is equal to 0 0.45. So one answer will be that the 0 0.45 is the probability that the next patient will have the ischemic heart disease. Similarly, we can calculate the probability for the rheumatoid heart disease and the hypertensive heart disease and the cerebral vascular heart, uh, cerebral, cerebral vascular disease. And these are these will be nothing but 206 divided by 502 for the rheumatic heart disease, 50 divided by 502 for the hypertensive heart disease, and 20 divided by 502 is the cerebral vascular heart disease, and the probability are 0 0.14, uh, 0.41 for the RST, 0 0.10 for the uh, HST, 0 0.04 for the CVD. Now, if in, in an experiment, if we can say there are only four possible outcomes, there are no other outcome in, let's suppose, let's suppose we are fixed with these four outcomes. So the question may, may say that what is will be the sum of all the probability? What can be the sum of all the probability in a given? For example, if, if I'm talking about like Corona, that the um, uh, 0.90 uh, was the probability of uh, a person is having COVID. So 0 0.10 is it will be the probability that a person will not have the COVID. So 0 0.9 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 1.0. Similarly, we can also find out if we have more than one out to one outcome, then we can all simply sum up sum out all these probability that is 0 0.45, 0 0.41, 0 0.10, and 0 0.04. So you can find out that the sum of all these probability is equal to one. These two examples leads us to basically uh, 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 talked about the assumption and probability. One assumption which we uh, talked about when we were talking about the sure thing and the uh, and the impossible thing. So probability always lie between zero and one. The it can never be more than one. It can never be less than zero. And the sum of all the probability is a in an experiment will always be equal to one. So. There is another example. We talked about the hypertensive patient that uh, we found that 0 0.88 was the probability that a person is affected by the hypertensive patient, hypertensive, uh, uh, the hypertensive drug positively. So we can, uh, it can be also asked that what is the probability that a person will not be affected by the uh, hypertensive drug? Means he he got. A negative effect on the uh, of the of the drug. So there are two away. One thing is that we can find out that how many people did not uh, affected by uh, did not get positive effect 
uh, from the hepatocyte cell, which are 700 minus 616. And when we divide this uh, this uh, uh, value from the total number of uh, the sample, the answer is 0 0.12. And 0 0.8 and 0 0.12 will is nothing but say 1.0. Or we could also do it if we simply uh, mi minus it 1 up to 0 0.8 because we knew the sum of all the outcome is equal to 1. So we if we have only two outcome, positive and negative, so if I know the probability of positive, so I can simply uh, minus it from the one and the answer would be the same. One minus 0 0.88 is nothing but the 0 0.12. This approach to finding out the probability from one amin to another amin, especially if we have the two outcome, we call them complementary of the amin. The complement of the amin means like in the previous example, our positive uh, effect was the uh, amin. So the negative effect was the complement. It, it is nothing but the alternative to the, uh, the to the event of interest. So for example, if A is the event, if we do, if we drive in the, in symbolic form, that if the A is is event, so A bar will be the uh, will be the non-event. A that A does not occur. Like here, if A is the life, then A bar is the death. The chances of life is a uh, uh, is a uh, 90% so the chances of death will automatically will be from 1 minus 0 0.9 which is the 10, 0 0.10 the chances of uh, if a is a recovery from the surgery then a bar which is a complementary of I mean is no surgery uh, uh, no recovery after the surgery so again if the a group uh, again if we have the multiple outcome then one event if any one of the event will be our uh, will, any one of the outcome will be our event and the rest of them will be our complement for example in the in in the example of the blood group if the a is a my event of interest okay my outcome so b a b and o will be our complementary all the other outcome will be our complementary and the formula is here p of a bar is equal to 1 minus p of a and it is a Venn diagram. We can show it from here that if this circle is representing the, our event of interest, like life or recovery of recovery after surgery, or the blood group A, then the whole area outside the uh, outside it, whole the area. Like if we are say talking about group, blood group A, then the whole the other area, like blood group B, blood group A B, blood group A, lie outside the area. So this this is the area of the complementary event, and this yellow one is the area of the event in which we are interesting. In our let's suppose example of the hypertensive drug. So this is the uh, area of the positive uh, effect of the drug, and this is uh, the brown color is the area of the complementary event, which is the negative effect of the hypertensive drug. So in this lecture, we are we are we are just uh, covering the few concept which is a probability which is the measurement of chances and it requires two uh, two major concept is the and the sample size should be the large enough and the experiment should be run under uh, essentially identical condition and the calculation is, sim is simply we have the event and we have the number uh, of time the event occurs then divided by the total number of sample and the assumption of the probability are that it lies between zero and one and the sum of all the probability of all the outcome is equal to one. And the complement of the event we cover it out that if we know the event of any one uh, any one outcome, uh, if you know the probability of any one outcome, so we uh, we by while subtracting it from the uh, the probability from mine uh, from one, we will get the probability of the complement of the event. That's it.